Hey everyone, Cool Caparoon here. Thank you for stopping by for another video. Today we're gonna take a look at the brand new, completely redesigned Focal Twins and Solo Sixes. We're gonna take a listen to them. We're gonna talk about what all has changed with them. And then I'm gonna discuss my thoughts with you as a first time listen here in the beautiful Sweetwater Studio A. Okay, so it's time to take my first listen to these. Here's the problem. Unfortunately, I can't let you guys hear this. And despite what anyone says, Pointing a camera at a pair of speakers is not a good way to test speakers. You cannot tell anything or tell the right things about speakers by me just recording the outputs of the speakers. That's that's not how this works. It's not how I do it. It's not how any serious professional would judge a speaker. So what I am going to do is I'm going to listen to these and then I'm, I'm going to spend some time here in this spot. And then I'm going to give you my impressions of them and what's different about them and just the general overall character of them. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've been listening to these for quite a while now. First, I wanna talk about my general impressions of these, and then let's talk about how they, I think they are different from the old ones. I think that's the best way to handle this. So the first thing that is apparent to me is they, the twins actually feel like a three-way speaker. Now, we're gonna get into a whole bunch of technical details from jo with Josh from Focal here in a second, and uh, technical details on the redesign and all that stuff, but they very much feel like a three-way speaker, and I think that's very cool. I did not used to get that impression with the old ones. Uh, they are thicker than I expected them to be. Uh, I think the frequency response of these is 40 to 40, so 40 hertz to 40 kilohertz, but I feel like that's a little deceiving because they feel like they go lower. Now, there's obviously a a roll off there is some stuff lower than 40 but they are thicker than I expected them to be this is not a room that I'm super familiar with I would expect personally myself to want to run a sub with these but if you don't really care about the, the very very lowest of frequencies depending on the kind of music you do they are wide they sound really wide sitting right in the middle of them and that is something that I did not expect on the back there's switches uh, to switch the mid-range and the bass to switch sides of them and so not only can you change the character of the speaker but they're both they can be on either side they're not specifically left and right speakers they feel very much like a tool they're not overly flattering at all uh, they do sound good it's not like they don't sound good but they're the old ones are definitely a little bit more flattering I think these are definitely more like uh, more transparent more of a, a focused tool and I like them I like that move now we're gonna talk more about this in a second but I was actually never a fan of the old Focal twins uh, they just had like a phasey thing I never could put my finger on it but I just wasn't ever a fan of them and they have completely solved that in these new speakers, and that makes me very, very happy. The transient response feels very good, very tight, especially the mid-range, the, the immediacy of the mid-range. Um, it definitely moved these a lot closer to my trio territory, how the, the transient response on the trios is so immediate and so fast feeling. Um, so that's very good. So overall, very impressed. Uh, I'm interested to get these to my room and really spend some time with them, but very impressed with the changes. They were all necessary changes. So far in this room, it feels like they fixed all the issues that I had with the twins, and that's amazing. So let's throw the Solo 6s up and let's spend some time on those. And then we're gonna talk with Josh about all the technical redesign details. Okay, so I've just spent some time on the new solos, uh, and they sound really, really good as well. Now, full disclosure, I didn't have a lot of time on the old solos, but I've worked on the old twins a bunch. So what I want to do right now is discuss the main differences between the new solos and the new twins. So on paper, they have the exact same frequency range of 40 hertz to 40 kilohertz. However, the twins do sound a little thicker due to that second uh, driver picking up all the, uh, helping out with the low end duties. Now I would say both of these speakers are uh, really a good analytical tool. Uh, a lot of people are saying that they're a less flattering 
version than the old ones, but I still think they sound really good and there's lots of detail. Uh, the transient response feels really fast on both of them and so that's a really good thing. It seems like the Solo 6s sound a little bit more cohesive because it's probably because the drivers are closer together and the orientation of the low and the tweeter, uh, how they're right on top of each other rather than kind of between each other. But the twins have like more wow factor, I guess is how I would put it. Because they're horizontal, especially if you have them in the horizontal orientation, they sound really, really wide. And so you can flip the orientation on them, but how I like them best and how we had them set up is the mid-range uh, drivers were on the outside. I, said, I guess I should say the full range were on the outside while the sub, the low drivers were on the inside. And this gave a really wide impressive, fun soundstage, uh, and the stereo spectrum, the stereo imaging felt extremely accurate, which is something that I feel about my trios as well. So it's funny with everyone coming in and listening while we were doing this, everyone kind of had a different preference. Uh, my personal preference is ever so slightly to the twins, and I think it's because of that wow factor. They're wider, they just sound a little bit more fun, but there are plenty of people in here that were taking a listen that preferred the solos. I think if you were in a well-treated room uh, that could handle a subwoofer, I think the solos with a sub would be incredible. Uh, and I think if you did not have a sub, I would probably pick the twins. But this all comes down to your room and your needs and your tastes and your budget. So the new solos are $15.99 each, and the twins are $22.99 each, and the subwoofer is $25.99. So the solos with the sub as a package would be about $5,800. That would be an unreal package. So this is my friend Josh from Focal. Hey man. Um, we are going to discuss the differences. Come on in so that way you don't look mm. so stretched out. There we go, mm. okay. If you liked anything that you've seen in this video, you can check out the links in the description below or anything else that you've ever seen in my videos or any piece of musical gear that you ever need, you can just jump on any one of my videos and hit the link in the description below, any link. And when you use those links, it goes a long ways to help support the channel. Those links go to Sweetwater, Sweetwater, sponsoring this video and I've been getting all of my gear from Sweetwater for a long, long, long time. They have everything like this. <laughs> so thank you Sweetwater for sponsoring this video. Thank you for having me out to Gear Fest. Be sure to use the links in the description anytime you need any piece of musical gear. All right, back to the video. They're brand new. Yeah. Everything's new. Can you run yeah. us through like the biggest changes component wise and We've completely redesigned the drivers from the ground up. They have a 20% taller voice coil. They have a, a little bit narrower cone angle, just more dynamic range. Um, the tweeters, we still have the, the beryllium membrane on the tweeter, but we built this crazy chamber behind the tweeter because most tweeters actually have a closed back magnet, right? So you, you mill out a magnet, you set the voice mm -hmm. coil of the tweeter inside, mm -hmm. um, and there that creates some anomalies because the energy on the tweeter has nowhere to go on the, on the back side. There's like pressure and vacuum as it moves in. Yeah, so it's, yeah. A, it's, a, it's a motor, it's moving on a neutral axis right yep. so so we want there's going to be energy there just naturally that's what mm -hmm. happens and usually it doesn't have a place to go so it just you know bounces around and that's pretty common with most tweeters so so we have this thing called IAL um, which we call infinite acoustic load it comes from our kind of uh, philosophy behind our big utopia speakers they're okay. like, you know 150 grand a pair or whatever Whew. Um, and we kind of took this idea where we, we built a chamber behind the tweeter that reduces the mm -hmm. resonance of the tweeter like way below the crossover, down to 200 hertz. Nice. So we don't want you to hear your speakers. We want you to hear your music. Like, yeah. That, that's it. So mm -hmm. with like 7 dB more dyna dynamic range, lower distortion. Um, you're just going to notice it's more dead ruler straight than before. So one of the biggest changes for the new twins and the new solos is the introduction of focus mode, which for those of you that watched my trio videos, I really thought this was going to be a gimmick. I was not super interested or cared about this feature at first, and it ended up on my trios being so great that I stopped using NS10s because of it. The introduction of focus mode to the twins and to the solos mm -hmm. is brand new, right? Yeah, new but different. So the trios, have their focus mode goes from a three-way to a two-way yep. sort of experience, right? So you're just removing your low-frequency driver. Recalibrating crossover. Re yeah, yep. totally independent internal crossover, yep. all analog, no DSP. But on the solo and the twin, we're kind of going from a more two-way or two-and-a-half-way experience to actually a, a one-way, so sort of a hi-fi sound cube sort of sort of experience. So those new drivers, we redesigned them to be have much more broad response. Got it. And they're more dynamic too, so they go all the way up to 10K. So we can just shut the tweeter off entirely. Mm. 
and and you get more of like a mixed cube kind of, of thing. Sound cube. Sound cube. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, sort of. Sorry, we can't say the words. It, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's so usable though. Yeah, super usable. Yeah. And, and it's one set of speakers versus having a speaker in one location mm -hmm. and a f speaker in a different physical location. Yep. So focus mode on the twins just shuts everything off except one driver, right? So it actually comes to two drivers, but those okay. two drivers are receiving the same signal. Okay. Yeah. So, so instead of one being mid-range, one being base, they both become just mid-range or full range? Yeah, it's, so it's, it's full range. Okay. But it's, it's 120 hertz to 10K is where we set those crossovers. Got it. At. Okay. And yeah. then same with the solos. Yeah, solos just one, 120 to, so the, to 10. So the focus mode is now more or less identical between the twins and Correct. the solos. Focus mode is no joke. It's not a gimmick. Okay, so for those of you that have been following the channel for any length of time, you know that I'm a, a huge fan of the trios. They're my favorite speakers ever. Like, they're so, so good. But I was never actually a fan of the twins. I've worked on them a bunch. I was never actually a fan of them at all. But these have been completely redesigned. Mm -hmm. And a couple key things is important that have solved or seemingly solved at first listen the issue that I had with the last ones. So I think the first thing that's important to know is on these. There's a tweeter and there's a mid-range driver. But the mid-range driver goes from 2.5K mm -hmm. all the way down. And then the third driver is just a base driver from 200 down. Yeah, 220. 220 yeah. down. Yep. So what what that means is there's a tweeter, mid-range, and the mid-range is also reproducing bass, but because bass frequencies take so much more power and are so much harder to reproduce while keeping mid-range accurate, the other speaker picks up the slack, right, and helps yeah. that out. Yeah, it's just more efficient, right? Yeah. You're just splitting that, the load of the energy between two things versus one. So yes. the mid-range can move a little more freely. It's not loaded down. So then on the technical side, this is part of what caused the phasey issues with the last one, right? Or the, the character that I didn't really care for. Um, yeah, so we were pretty much coming out of those amplifiers, just had those dedicated crossovers, right? And, and we're just sending that energy from the amplifiers straight to the to, to the drivers, right? Yep. But what it doesn't account for is that the space between the drivers actually creates a little bit of a, a phase anomaly mm -hmm. in some rooms. Some people, some rooms, some experience a low mid kind of phasey thing yep. Yep. is a common piece of feedback on the twins. And those people normally go to solos or they go up to trios. Yep. And, and the, the experience was normal. So yeah. we built this passive uh, phase correction network into one of those drivers. To, to correct that issue. So now everything's completely phase aligned and it feels really cohesive if you go from a solo all the way to a trio 11. And at first listen, that's one of the things that I immediately noticed is all of those feelings that I had about the old one, I, I don't have with these. What's the frequency range on the, the twins? Yep, so the twins and the solos actually both go 40 to 40. That's so, amazing. Um, that, that's what within plus or minus 3 dB in an anechoic chamber. So okay. that's not exactly real world. You're yep. gonna get some energy below 40, yep. um, but the variance uh, is gonna be greater than, than 3 dB each way. Totally. But most rooms, uh, maybe with the exception of yours, uh, <laughs> most rooms have a much larger variance than than, yeah. than that. So so yeah, they 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 go low and they go really high. Cool. Thanks, man. Thank you. Appreciate you. I'm gonna put links down below for these speakers. They are out, right? They're out. Right They're now. out. They're shipping. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Links in the description. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.